Yad Vashem is trying a new technique to help people understand the significance of visual documentation of the Holocaust. In its Flashes of Memory exhibition, the World Holocaust Remembrance Center is challenging visitors to think about who created these images and why. The 1,500 photos are divided into three main groups. Those taken by Nazis and other Germans, those taken by Jewish victims of the Nazis, and those taken by Allied forces who liberated Nazi death camps. The exhibition highlights the perspectives of the Jewish photographers who sought to memorialize the suffering of their people in the ghettos. It emphasizes the photography of U.S. and other Allied soldiers who wanted to reveal the horrors of the Holocaust to the world and to gather evidence for war crimes tribunals. The exhibition also explains how Nazi photographers and photo editors portrayed Jews as a racially inferior people in order to popularize anti-Semitism. What this exhibition is going to do exactly is to give the viewer a different way of looking at the photographs and to think uh, and to follow the eye of the photographer but what is more important sometimes the mind of the editor who is manipulating and doing whatever he needs and wants according to his ideology with the photographs. Manipulation of Holocaust imagery is not just a Second World War phenomenon. Iran is one country whose leaders have drawn international criticism for denying the Holocaust or downplaying its significance in recent years. Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei posted a video on his website in 2016 in which he says it is not clear whether the core of the Holocaust is a reality as he shows pictures of Holocaust deniers whom he argues are unfairly persecuted in the West. Under Khamenei's leadership, government-affiliated groups also have held several exhibitions of Holocaust cartoons satirizing the genocide. The latest exhibition held in Tehran in May 2016 featured international submissions and an award ceremony for winners who received bronze statuettes. Yad Vashem chairman Avner Shalev says that kind of imagery is unlikely to seduce the Iranian people. At the end of the day, the truth will prevail and the public will understand the manipulation that someone does with the photographs. I think for the long run, they have to look at uh, the material with a very, I would say, uh, examining uh, process. Yad Vashem hopes these images will educate the world about Nazi Germany's use of the power of photography to persecute and ultimately slaughter millions of Jews. This exhibition also reminds people of how images related to the Holocaust were manipulated for the purposes of propaganda. Michael Lippin, VOA News, Jerusalem.